Hi, this is Aaron Putsey coming to you from Brooklyn, Iowa, and it's really neat to see uh, agriculture's evolution. And visiting with Roger Van Ersveld and also uh, Cole Olson, Cole's in the crop insurance business. Roger, going on your 54th crop year. Yeah. And, you know, I know farming's in your blood and yeah, you absolutely so. love it. Yes. And tell me about where that passion comes from for farming. Well, when I graduated from high school, if you'd have told me I was going to be a farmer, I would have bet you a million dollars. But uh, four years in the military gave me a chance to grow up and really figure out what I wanted to do, what I wanted to be in my life. My father and mother gave me the opportunity to start farming, and it's just evolved ever since. I've grown, and, and now it's my turn to turn it around and pay it back to the next generation. We need to put younger farmers back on the ground and give them the opportunity because the large farms are great, but we still need smaller farmer operations and people that want to be involved. How, how did you two get to know each other? Well, actually Cole worked for us when he was in high school when we had livestock quite a bit. And I found out that uh, he's got the ability and the mindset to be a farmer. When he graduated from high school, while we had a little conversation, he asked me, he says, would you ever consider starting somebody farming? And I said, yes, I would. And he's an ideal candidate for somebody that wants to be a farmer. And uh, when he graduated from college, why the opportunities presented itself. And so we're starting to slowly involve him in the farming operation in a way that it's not going to put him into a bankruptcy. He's not gonna go head over heels in debt with that he can't get out of. I lived right in town here and we're close relatives. Oh, we're relatives, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Where'd you go to school? Um, right here in Brooklyn, BGM. Okay. And then college? Uh, Iowa State. And degree? Ag Systems Technology. Okay. And then so how long have you been with FMH? Uh, this will be four, fourth year here. Super. So. Between the generations, how's it working? It works great, to yeah. be, be yeah. completely honest, you know. A wealth of knowledge is what I have and, and I try to use that to my full advantage and yeah, um, he's coached so. me and taught me more yeah. than I could have ever imagined yeah. already. And, and how's it rewarding to you, Roger? I can tell you take great pride in helping that next generation get a foothold in ag. Anybody that really loves production agriculture, they want to see the next generation come in and we need those younger generation to grow us, make us better, and produce more food for the world. What's the most important lesson learned thus far in, in working with Roger? General knowledge of what your goal is and what you're looking to do and, and understanding the numbers behind what you're doing has been a lot of what I've learned. And what have you enjoyed, Roger? Well, to see the growth in coal, to, uh, starting out as not having a lot of knowledge and to become extremely knowledgeable about what's going on especially in the technology field. That makes the transition into the technology so much easier with a younger mind that retains things a lot better because my computer is getting full and sometimes the information <laughs> just kind of goes right on through. Yeah. So having him here to be able to do that and sometimes he challenges me to try new things that maybe I wouldn't have thought about. And that's the really great part about it is to be able to adapt technology and be challenged to bring that technology to the forefront and actually use it. You're really driven to deliver and bring in the next generation in agriculture too. And you know, that's pretty darn critical for us as Iowans and for those of us who like to eat. So great story here from Brooklyn, Iowa, reporting for the Iowa Soybean Association. I'm Aaron Putsey.